Hey y'all, it's Megan from Made for Mermaids and today we're working on the Amalfi swimsuit. This is the video for the bottoms. If you need to see the top, I will link it down below. So first step is to cut the pieces out. You'll need one front piece on the fold in fabric A, one front piece on the fold in fabric B, and then you'll also need a back of each fabric on the fold. So the first step is going to be to stitch the crotch seam. So you're going to place the front and back right sides together. You're going to match the notch and then also the edges. Now on one, you're going to just sew it all the way across like normal. And then on the other one, you're going to want to start stitching and then you're going to leave an opening in the center about two inches so that we can flip it right sides out later. Okay, so this crotch seam is stitched all the way across, and then this one, you can see I left an opening. The next step is to put them right sides together, and we're going to stitch the leg lines. So you're going to stitch the leg lines together and add elastic to the seam of each. So here and here, when you're adding the elastic, you're going to want to stretch it across the booty, right here and right here, and then just have it taut on the rest of the leg line. Again, you can use your sewing machine or your serger for this. You can choose to use a serger or sewing machine to sew your swimsuit. In the seams where you're adding elastic, like here on the leg line and on the waist seam, I prefer to use my sewing machine because it gives a cleaner finish. So I'll first sew with a very narrow zigzag, 3 8 inch, the seam allowance, and then I will go back with a wider zigzag, as you can see here, and add my elastic inside of that seam. That way when it's flipped right side out, the elastic is all tucked inside the seam and it doesn't roll towards one side. When you use your serger, you'll find that the elastic is going to push one of the fabrics toward the other side. So you can't really do anything about that. You can top stitch it, but you're still always going to have a little bit of peekaboo on the other side. So if that bugs you, then I would use your sewing machine. Now that we have our leg line stitched and the elastic added, you're going to flip it right side out and we're going to move on to the side seams. So you're going to open the front pieces up and pull them away from each other at the leg line, just like this, and you're going to match the back of fabric A to the front of fabric A and same as the back on and front on fabric B. Now the seam that has the elastic, I like to push that seam toward where the elastic is so it's all enclosed. Again, you can use the serger for the side seam or you can use your sewing machine. Either one is going to work here. Okay, so we stitched the side seams and you can flip it so it's right side out. This. Now it's time to roll the waistline. So we're going to flip it back out like you just stitched the side seams. And I like to put the back side up. And you're going to grab the back and the crotch like this. And you're going to roll it up in the middle like that. So again, it's like this, this is the back pieces and you kind of grab that crotch and stick it, roll it right in the center. Okay, then you're gonna take this piece and you're going to wrap it around the back pieces. And I'm gonna match these side seams and I'm gonna start pinning the front pieces together.
and you can pin kind of side seam to side seam or as best you can. I like to pin the side seams together just so it doesn't get off. So you have this roll here. So inside in the middle are the back pieces and the crotch. The leg lines down here and we're going to take this to the machine and start stitching the waistline together. And I'll show you that. Okay, so with these bra edges aligned, we're going to start stitching and the, the side seam aligned. Start stitching with a 3 h inch seam allowance. I'm using my sewing machine. You can also use your serger. Do you want to make sure that the back pieces and the crotch are away from the raw edges so you don't accidentally get it caught in the seam? So now I've sewn side seam to side seam, and you can see I don't have anything left to sew. So I'm just going to start pulling those back pieces out. You want to make sure that your needle stays down when you're doing this so you don't get off. And you're just going to realign and start sewing again. And you're just going to continue this pulling the back pieces out from the roll, aligning the edges, and sewing. Okay, now I'm back to the beginning, so I'm back to the front, and now I'm going to go back and I am going to add my elastic to the seam in the same way, and then we'll flip it right side out. When I get back to the beginning, I just cut my elastic so the ends butt together. Just like that. Okay, now we're going to find that little crotch opening that we left right here and we're going to flip it right side out through that opening keep pulling And now the last step is to just 
close this. I said it on the top video, but it's the same. So for the cleanest finish, you would hand stitch this closed so you don't see it. This is the bottom of the crotch, so I'm not really worried about anyone seeing it. So I'm just going to use my sewing machine, a narrow zigzag to close it. So I pushed that seam allowance to the wrong side. And I'll just stitch close to that edge to close it up. Now, if you would like to, you can top stitch all of your elastic on the leg line and the waist seam so that the other side doesn't roll towards one side while you're wearing it. Here we go. So you just kind of use your fingers to push the elastic. So you're going to get a cleaner finish if you use your sewing machine because the elastic is butted right up to the seam. If you add it with your serger, you're going to have one side like this peeking out because the elastic will be there and depending on which side you sew the elastic on, it will peek out over the other side. And there's your completed bottoms. They are fully reversible. I don't top stitch mine. I don't mind if the other side peeks out um, at all. It doesn't bother me. I just swim in my backyard and if I'm on vacation, again, I just don't mind since they coordinate. But you can top stitch them and it will keep the lining or the other side from peeking out. If you make the Amalfi suit, you can see it's three pieces. One, two, three, and then the optional ties. Um, if you make one, we would love to see in our Facebook group or tag us on Instagram at Made for Mermaids. If you have any questions, as always, you can leave them down below and I will try to answer them.